What is going on everyone, it's your boy Mantis and today we're going to be diving a little bit into the lore behind Critical Ops in anticipation for the next Lone Wolf event. Now, I'm going to be talking about both the facts we already know as well as my speculations for the story behind Critical Ops. If you want to see more content like this then please leave a like and sub and let's hop into this video. So first off, just to get everyone up to speed, let's talk quickly about the Lone Wolf and the next event. We got the super cool trailer showing the lone wolf attacking raid about a year ago and basically his character is supposed to be a neutral operative, he's not really on either specific side. Now I made a video a few months ago when overhaul dropped in critical ops, there was this little sticky note that read, Jesse's cargo arrives on January 8th with the lone wolf logo next to it. I said it would be cool if this was actually linked to the lone wolf event and it seems I was correct in making this prediction. Critical Ops just released the trailer for Operation Boiling Point and they actually mention this specific date in the description. It reads, The brilliant weaponsmith of the Breach Faction, Vinny, has spent countless months crafting a set of exclusive new weapon skins to be sold and shipped on the 8th of January to a certain notorious buyer. But it seems an anonymous informant has ruined the holiday plans as coalition forces descend upon Raid in a flurry of violence, aiming to stop the shipment and take Vinny and his gang down. So clearly something is happening on January 8th and will most likely be related to the Lone Wolf. Critical Ops actually teased the Lone Wolf's return during Winterfest as he was shown during the menu screen. Clearly on January 8th something is going to go down and I'm excited for what it will be but in the meantime I'm not going to talk about my predictions on what is happening with the lore here. Now Operation Frontier was also connected to the lore but I'll be backtracking to that here in a second. So in the newest Operation Boiling Point trailer, we see Coalition attempting to secure Raid from the Breach, which clearly seems to be where the Breach primarily operate. Now while we didn't see the Lone Wolf in this trailer, I believe there are some clues hidden throughout this that point towards something fishy going on. The first thing that I noticed is that there are 6 Coalition operatives in this trailer while there are only 4 Breach operatives. Now in the description it says that an anonymous informant has ruined the Breach plan so I think that the Lone Wolf tipped off the Coalition and more specifically I think the Lone Wolf is actually a member of the Breach organization but maybe he wants them to be taken down so in disguise he's the Lone Wolf. I don't think the Lone Wolf is an undercover agent for the Coalition because he's just straight up not present in this scene and in the previous trailer we actually saw the Lone Wolf attacking both the Breach and Coalition players. Most likely the Lone Wolf is just someone with his own agenda who is willing to let the two sides fight each other in order to make the battle easier for himself. This is the reason why I think he's the one that gave the anonymous tip to the Coalition so they could battle each other. The bomb was also blowing up in this shot as they were fighting, so most likely none of these people would have survived because of how close they were to it. We already know in Critical Ops you can't survive the bomb if you're this close to it. If we're applying that to this trailer then that same logic should apply. I think it's very likely that the Lone Wolf set the bomb on B site and then fled the scene before the Coalition arrived so he could get out in time. Now you might be thinking, Mantis you're jumping the gun with this theory that one of the breach led operatives is the Lone Wolf. Well do you remember when I mentioned Operation Frontier? Let's backtrack to this for another potential teaser that I think we all overlooked. Now before we go over the theory, we can once again read the description of this video. It says, The Breach discovered intel about a new heavily armed coalition base and decided to launch an attack to disrupt coalition activity in the region. When we see the Breach players going on this motorboat, they're getting ready to attack this coalition base which is obviously the new diffuse map Castello. However, in this trailer we actually see 5 breach sided operatives taking the boat, which means someone was definitely missing in the last trailer. Now I know that the breach and the coalition each definitely have way more than 5 operatives, but their usual attack plan is to stick in groups of 5, so I think the fact that one was missing in the boiling point trailer is kinda sus. Also, the trailer opens with a coalition agent tracking what is most likely the ship the Breach are attacking on. Now since the Breach are launching a very low tech attack on a small boat, how are they being tracked? It's very likely that the Lone Wolf is once again leaving some sort of tip that the Breach are about to attack this base. We don't technically know how this raid ended on the coalition base in Castello but I guess we can find out in the future. So basically to quickly wrap it all up, I believe that when the mask is off, the lone wolf is a part of the breach but he isn't a fan of either organization, so undercover as the lone wolf he plans to try and take them both down. His motive is still unknown at this time but as January 8th approaches, I think it's very likely that we will be getting some more answers. If you found this video to be entertaining, please like and sub and comment down below if you think I'm right about my lone wolf predictions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.